All right, all right. Next up, which one of you goddamn dollar motherfuckers from corporate just want to shut down that god awful fucking store, huh? Now who the fuck is that fat fuck with the red hair? I don't, I don't, I don't want to fucking know. He should be fucking canned. He should be fucking canned to the fucking prison, huh? He closed the door when the police came around. I don't know who the fuck any of the fucking temporary employees are. I don't give two shits. Okay, eleven dollars an hour. For fucking two days minus a half hour break on each day. Eight hours, eight hours. Eleven dollars an hour. Now that fat fucking redheaded corporate fuck. Huh? He's a liar. He's a cheat. And he's withholding fucking possible Schedule 1 narcotics. But chances are it's fucking anthrax that tastes like white heroin that looks like cocaine. Don't fuck around with me with that shit. This is no fucking dollar store shakedown, okay? That shit under the shelves. What'd they say? Oh, he's seeing things. That doesn't exist. No. No. That's a fucking dollar store. They sell fucking food, baby products, toilet paper, basic staples, okay, for people that need. There's no fucking drug ring. And if it fucking anthrax or white heroin, it's one or the other. It looks like coke. It ain't fucking cocaine, okay? I just work in Mohegan Sun. All right, they gave me a whole one down on all that god awful garbage that come from anywhere close to fucking New York City shit. All right. Now that's obviously okay. So what if so so what? It's a fucking plant, huh? You no, know, it looked like someone just fucking barely ripped open a fucking saran wrap key of some fucking either white heroin or cocaine or some look alike fucking anthrax. Arsenic fucking kill people garbage. And it was under that fucking shelf, right under fucking Pampers formula and baby bottles and all sorts of good stuff for normal people. Now, I didn't expect to see anything. I didn't get no fucking memo about any of that. I want, I want the fucking $11 an hour for two eight-hour night shifts minus a half hour on each break. Now, I don't, I don't even remember that fucking red-headed, fucking eight-foot-tall, fucking fat fuck from wherever the fuck, okay? I don't, I don't even remember his name, all right? If he said he fired me for what the fuck, I don't give a shit. I took pictures, all right? And I sent them to the fucking, to the fuck, fucking minor lane, wireless fucking shit. This whole goddamn area is monitored by the Department of Defense and Homeland Security. I don't need to know any, anything, anything. If he made up any kind of fucking excuse, what I told my ma, what I told my dad, he fired me because he just didn't like me. That's fine. Maybe he found a better employee that was more in need or whatever the fuck. All right? Close the dollar store. Keep the dollar store open. I don't know why there's all sorts of fucking police all around. I made a joke. Yeah, I made a joke. It was a true joke, and it was earlier. I was going to put it under Dollar Tree work music and, and fo work the full 11 days, like nothing at all. I don't know why the fuck he fired me instead of just joking around and palling around letting someone fucking qualified to handle that goddamn shit. Okay? It's either DEA or whatever fucking poison control for fucking looks like coke, heroin, whatever the fuck. I don't know. All right? I don't want anything to do with that fucking dollar store nonsense. I didn't put a fucking key under my goddamn grocery store, pound or brick or fucking whatever, okay? I didn't. I shop there. I buy fucking food, toilet paper, paper towels, soap, cola, fucking groceries, and fucking house cleaners and shit. Now, if it was anyone's fault, it's that random asshole... Like, eight foot tall with red hair and fat. That's that. It's his fault. And I, and I told my mom and dad, they fired me because they didn't like me. I didn't expect any of that shit. They didn't expect any of that shit. Was it cola? Was it blood? I don't care, okay? If I'm not fired technically, I'm not going to work at that store no more. I want to shop there if it's not fucking closed down. I don't want to go to the goddamn dollar store and get shot through the chest by some freaking anthrax-driving 
fucking white heroin, play pretend, truck driving, son of a bitch, goddamn monkey from who knows where. Now it's either fucking closed, they're fucking open. Don't go send all of their freaking corporate governance, anything, chain store, corporate, dollar store police garbage after me. All right? I reported it. I reported it. And that's that. I even made light hard because I thought I was walking still. We're this close to New York City. We're this close to Groton. At the same time, I could have sworn there was an ordinary grocery store that was just kind of in the dumps from so many people shopping there for so many years. I've been shopping there since 2003. All right? Now I'm expecting a check at some point. There's no reason I shouldn't shop there anymore. But if I apply again a couple years from now, forget about it and apply again, hell, maybe they'll hire me. But I don't ever want to apply at that store ever again. That particular store right there, no. I'm thinking that it should be shut down. Now I'm going to miss the dollar store because I have EBT food stamps. <laughs> but, um, yeah, about that. Chick, chick, two, two, one. Chick, chick, two, 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 two